What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here. Just calm down, Sim. Sure, please, everyone, just calm everyone down. Everyone calm. Everyone stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. We have just finished up at the FWAs. We've interviewed Teddy Sheringham. We've interviewed Chris Hewton. Content will be with you shortly. But we brought you a video earlier that Tottenham are in talks with a loan move over Coutinho. But some more news has broken over the last hour. Yeah. Dybala, it has been widely reported that a bid has been accepted from Juventus around 62 to 70 million for Dybala. Like, is this happening? Is it Sky happening? Sports, Sky Sports have now reported that Tottenham have agreed a deal with Juventus. They're saying 64 million for Paolo Dybala plus add odds. I mean, if we can get this over the line before the transfer deal is done, that would be the deal of the summer. It really would be. To get it in this late, a player who's, you know, a world-class talent, he's shown it at Juventus. Again, I've spoken about it on previous videos. He did have a disappointing season last season, but he's shown how good he can be. And wow, wow, if we can get this deal over the line. There are just an update as well on the Coutinho deal. That's not, that's not dead, apparently. Apparently, they're saying that's a loan deal to the end of the season with an option to buy for 100 million at the end of the season and there are sky sports are reporting that it's very not very likely but it could well be that tottenham sign diabala and coutinho and sell no, ericsson no, 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 no. and i tell you I what can't see that. i tell Come you on. what i tell you what if we get diabala and coutinho i'll drive ericsson to manchester myself <laughs> i'm telling you that right but, now but can you actually see us signing both of these players in this window <sighs> it's, not on, tottenham. it's not Come tottenham it's not tottenham to sign both of <laughs> these players in this window but look this to me, to me, the incredible. Coutinho news was fake news all, all, all the way through. Like, I can't see us get it, uh, signing Coutinho on loan for 20 million for the season. I just can't see that happening. Well, but apparently, you know, Tottenham interest Dybala a lot more than Man United, given the fact we're in Champions League. You know, we've got the new stadium. We've got an Argentine manager who uh, Poch is, who he's very fond of. And we've got a really good attacking playing style that he really likes to be a part of. And he's not quite fancied at the moment at Juventus. So it looks like this actually could be happening, which is absolutely... Absolutely incredible, and I can't quite believe that we're at this stage now, less than 48 hours to go in the window, and finally something seems to be happening. Well, I was getting down in the dumps for Spurs a minute. Spurs Twitter has gone absolutely yeah. mad over this last hour. I can't believe it. Yeah, like, it's exploded. Twitter has exploded. I think it might, it might break the but internet. But we just need to calm down a bit, because yeah. obviously we've been here before, we've seen these reports before. Aguero for 35 million on the last Aguero, day. Aguero, William. I mean, it's Sky Sports, to be honest, are even reporting, this is true, we haven't even mentioned that, they were even reporting that Los Celso negotiations have reopened as well. So maybe there was also just... that report. I don't know who it was from. That Atletico Madrid could be in for Lo Celso. Yeah, they're now. saying Atletico Madrid have made a bid for sixty million plus ten million in add-ons for Lo Celso. So whether that deal was not going to happen, apparently the Bruno Fernandez deal might be dead now because we're focusing on other things. If we can get, I don't know, even one of the, if, if we get two of them, that will be the an unbelievable window. If we get one if of them, we get Sessegnon and Dybala. That is the best window, I think, in my memory. Ndombele, so. Dybala and Sessegnon. That would be absolutely incredible. Look, <coughs> I, I, I can't not get excited given it's 48 hours. So if it's going to happen, it's going to happen now. So yeah, you let's have just to get excited, let's, let's take a breather. Let's sleep on it. Let's see what happens Spurs tomorrow. Spurs fans are getting very excited over Twitter. I know, but I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm personally not going to believe anything until I see him in a Spurs Mate, show. Mate, Paulo Dybala, though, with partnering Kane up front. Man. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be up all night with these transfer rumors. Honestly, it's doing my head in. But look, this is so Sky Sports take, are reporting man. it. They're reporting it. So it's not like we're just making this up. It's not like somewhere legit isn't reporting it. So they seem to be... No, they seem okay, to it was Dimarzio the one that broke the link, wasn't Dimazio it? Dimarzio did break the link as well. So he usually knows what he's talking about. Not that he's never got anything wrong in the past, but... He did break it at first, and then everyone seems to have followed suit. A lot, most of the the gold correspondent to uh, Juventus gold correspondents also said the deal was being agreed, and it's now up to the Spurs to agree personal terms. Which we have to say, he demanded 350k out of Man United, plus massive agent fees apparently as well. Yeah, so so, so whether that's uh, feasible remains but anyway, to be seen. He, but the fact that we've we're in it, he wanted 350k to drop down to Europa League. Now why. he's coming to a proper club, maybe, and maybe he can get some normal wages. Apparently, he's on about. 120 grand a week. So that's Juventus. feasible, you know. Put him on 150, 175. Yeah, exactly. Even maybe even match of Kane. I think if it can give the squad a whole boost, that'll be absolutely brilliant. So, look, I think a lot is clearly things are going to go down the last 20 in the next 48 hours. I'm going to not going to lie to you. If nothing happens, if we don't sign anyone, I'm going to be fuming. I'm going to be fuming. I'm going to be, be fuming. gutted. So they can't give us this amount of hope and then shoot us down. Look, we were all burnt last last 
year with when we didn't sign anyone and we had Grealish at the end of the window and that didn't even happen. So it's hard to get too excited, but when Dybala... Oh, we, when, can't, we can't wipe the smiles off our yeah, faces. Yeah, well, we have a free agreed for Dybala and Sky Sports are reporting it. You can't not get excited about that. But, well, look, there's still a, lot, a long way to go, apparently. At the, end of the so. day, at the end of the day, we've been imminent to sign everyone all summer. So, uh, look, yeah. let's take it with a bit of pinch of salt. In regards but I, to, can't, yeah. I can't help myself from getting excited with this one. In regards to Coutinho, they're still saying that could still be on the table. They're also saying that the way the deal that that deal would be structured would be Spurs would pay a fee of around £20 million and we and Barcelona would continue to pay the wages. So people saying, how are we going to pay 300 grand a week in wages? They're saying, Barca will pay the wages and we'll pay them a fee and we'll have an option to buy for 100 million. So if that was the structure of the deal... Is that 100 deal, million on top of the 20? That'd be 100 million uh, option to buy. Or including the 20? No, not including the 20, I believe. The 20 would be a loan fee. So if that was the structure of the deal, I would be all for it. I think that's a good deal. So realistically, if you're going to sign Coutinho, it's going to be 120 million to sign him. Correct. Well, they, they signed him for 140, so they're probably going to want most of their money back, yeah. aren't they? But if we can, if he, look, if we get both of them and offload Ericsson, I'm all for that. If Ericsson does want to be here, but I don't understand if he sees us signing up with Dybala, how can he not see the ambition at Spurs? But probably, what's probably the the reality is this: these deals are dependent on him. So yeah. get out of here, Ericsson. That's what I'm <laughs> if, 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 if we're going to get these deals in. I'm all for the sale of Ericsson. So. Well, there you have it. Tottenham have reportedly have a bid accepted for... Come on! Paolo Dybala from Juventus. Let us know what you think. Can we get this deal over the line? Is it realistic? Is it going to happen? Can we keep dreaming? Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, come, come on, you Spurs! Spurs.